Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thanks for joining me once again. All right, guys, we're heading back to the Great White North, Quebec, Canada, to be exact. This is from Unibrew. This is their Trois Pistoles, which is a 9.0% ABV Abbey style Belgian dark ale. It's going to be similar to a double or similar to a quadruple. Um, it's available year round, very readable, ready, ready, very readily available throughout the US. Um, it is bottle conditioned, you know, so it's very authentic to the style. Um, but with that said, guys, let's get this into a glass, let you know how it smells, tastes, give you the verdict on Unibrew's Trois Pistoles. All right, so the appearance on the top piece stools, um, it's kind of a murky, dark brown, really, really nice carbonation in there, champagne-like quality to it. Uh, there was about half a finger worth of a off-white khaki head, not sticking around at 9% ABV, you know, you wouldn't expect that. There is alcohol sticking to the side of the glass, some nice feet there. Um, it is a traditional looking kind of, you know, it's a Belgian quad. Uh, it has that kind of murky, dark iced tea look to it. Just very, very classic to the style. All right, the aroma on the Trois Pistoles. It's really nice. There's um, big, big, juicy kind of raisin notes in there. Big, juicy cherry, dark cherry notes in there. The booze on this one is definitely coming through. There's a, a spiced rum character to it. Very, very nice malt backbone in this one. Big kind of Belgian spiciness coming through. Unibrew has a very distinctive Belgian yeast that they use, and it's very, very spicy. It comes through nicely, and you're definitely getting that. It's an earthy spice, kind of a, uh, a savory kind of spice to it. Nice big bready malts in there, mixing with the, the dark fruits, the figs, the cherries, the raisins. Just a, a very, very vibrant, kind of big smelling Belgian beer. All right, the taste on the Trois Pistoles. Cheers. Um, the first initial taste on this one, it's kind of a, a weird beer because it kind of works in reverse to how beer usually works. You usually get a lot of flavor up front and then the after flavor and kind of a mouthfeel kind of take over, you know, after you swallow and everything. This one's the opposite. Right in the beginning of the mouth, you get high carbonation, a touch of bitterness and a lot of alcohol. And then kind of as the, the beer moves across the palate, you're getting more of this, the sweet kind of Belgian breadiness, that spiciness kind of takes over. And after you actually swallow the beer, you start to get the rum and the raisins and kind of the more of the spiciness and the dark, the figs and the breadiness really starts to come out. And it's really your second and your third sip where you start to kind of develop the flavors on this one. Big kind of sherry port flavors to it. There's a, you know, a tiny bit of um, vanilla cask kind of character to it. Um, big rum notes, big boozy notes in this one. There's a, a red wine kind of character to it. It's just a very, very complicated beer. Huge amount of mouthfeel in this one. The malt really, really shine through. Just big, bready, sweet malts, caramel, toffee. There's a slight bit of chocolate in there. It's just a, a really, really complicated, delicious, huge tasting Belgian beer. All right, so the final verdict on Trois Pistoles at 9% ABV, available year-round from Unibrew. Um, this one gets an A-plus for me. In my book, as far as Belgian strong ales, Belgian quads goes, you know, big Belgian beers, this is in the top three. They're just big kind of spiced rum notes and sherry notes in this one. It's just a, it's, it's boozy, but it's a really kind of spicy, interesting booziness that doesn't, you know, kind of take you back or anything. It just makes you kind of want to know more about the beer and let the beer really warm up and kind of you know drags you into the the idea of Trois Pistoles and what the beer means and makes you want to kind of research the beer and it's just a a hugely fascinating beer it tastes amazing um you know the, the look is spot on the aroma isn't like a Belgian beer I've ever had it's just a a really really great beer just an excellent excellent world-class beer i'm giving this one an a plus gets my highest recommendation it's easy to get it's cheap it's sellers great to top it off it tastes amazing and remember folks life is too short drink amazing beers <laughs>